Bondi Clinic, Senior Constable Jackie Largo from the King's Cross Police Station has arrived with a very unusual detainee. Plainclothes police brought someone into custody for a drug related offence and uh, she was in a uh, plastic handbag. You're a fright little thing, aren't you? Little girl. I've taken the dog off her just because she was too drug affected to look after it. So it just wouldn't be responsible to leave the dog with her. You gonna come clean? Hmm? Police believe the person they arrested is not the owner of the puppy. But how the pup ended up in a plastic handbag is a mystery. Are you put her under serious interrogation so far? Well, no, she refused to be electronically interviewed, so obviously she's executed her right to silence and not say anything. Going on her teeth, she hasn't started losing her baby teeth yet, so she's it's probably only about 12 weeks. Yeah, I thought she was pretty young. Yeah. yeah. Too young to be hanging out in the cross, huh? She does feel quite warm. So you said she, she has been shivering, she has been shaking. She, we've offered her water, but she hasn't really um, had anything to drink. But she has been shivering the whole time. Yeah, which is strange because she's, she's actually really hot. The worrying thing for me straight away is the fact it's a 30 degree day outside. It must have been at least 40 inside this bag, yet this little puppy is shivering. You know there's a, there's a bowl full of it there. When they're that young, they have this really poor ability to keep their own body temperature in the normal range. They overheat very quickly and they get cold very quickly. So for her to go through this today, it's really going to push her to the limits. Is she a high risk prisoner, do you think? No, she doesn't need constant observation. This little girl's got an incredible story. She was found in a plastic handbag being carried by someone that was high on drugs. The police have arrested her and found this little puppy. It's 30 degrees today. You can only imagine how hot it was inside this bag. Her temperatures are just on that upper end of normal there. So okay. she's um she's certainly warm, but it's not to the stage where we need to be worried about, oh, good. about yeah. her being affected by heat stroke or anything like that. I'm just gonna scan her for a microchip. Yeah. So I mean, it says it all, no ID found. It's upsetting to think that there's an owner out there that knows she's missing, but has absolutely no way of finding out where she's gone. Without that microchip, all you can do is hope. This one hurts. She may not like it, but this microchip will ensure the puppy's identity is never what? a mystery okay. again. Yeah, it's okay, it is. It's gonna be all right. But there's still one last thing this little girl needs. And that's a name. Famous girl on the cross. A little Tilly. Tilly? Could be Tilly. She looks pretty divine. Tilly Devine was an infamous madam at the King's Cross during the 1920s. And since this little puppy was found in the cross and has had her run-ins with the police, I just reckon the two have a fair bit in common. So what you're saying is you're transferring custody over to me? Ah, uh, that's correct. No death on custody on my ship. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> We've recorded no conviction, you know. Spoke to Constable Jackie. Everything is so up in the air, so really all we can do at the moment is show us some love. You gonna be okay? Oh, <laughs> don't make that face. Show what care is all about. And hopefully in the meantime we'll get some more answers. Oh, don't make that face. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> If you don't mind, I'm just going to have to insist on something. At the Bondi Clinic, Chris has become custodian of little Tilly. Yep, it's a, um, it's a mugshot. The 12 week old puppy was rescued at King's Cross by a quick thinking police officer. And to the side, thank you. After being found sweltering inside a plastic handbag. No one can tell us who she is or who she belongs to. And Tilly, while you're eating, it's probably time to talk about your custody arrangements because, because Jackie never really said where you had to be held in custody, did she? I've got some ideas. Now tell, happy to say you're the first girl from the cross that I've actually brought home here. But you need to know something. I'm actually not in charge here, all right? There's someone you 
probably refer to as the prison warden in here. George and Tilly have a lot in common. George was rescued by the police. He was dumped in a cage in the ocean down at Bondi. So the problem that we've got right now is the fact that it's, we're battling hypothermia. And was rushing to me late one night, essentially blue. He nearly drowned. And so it was the police that saved his life. And with little Tilly, it's the police that saved her life as well. George, that's not a welcome. <laughs> Till, don't take it too personally. It was like that with me when he first met me too. And we get along fine. Wait. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I know. You never do this. No. George, sort that out. Sort it out. You're in charge around here. Sort this out. George. You're just gonna stand there and watch it. I really should have thought about this more, shouldn't I? George is proof that even if you do have a rough start or a rough patch in your life, then with a bit of love and a bit of care, things can turn around. Can you sense the distance between us? It's could be about as close as we're gonna get. He's um He's not thrilled. Later that week at the clinic, while Tilly's having a little nap. Thank you. Okay. Bye. There's a welcome phone call for Chris. That was Constable Jackie from King's Cross Police. So an owner has come forward, contacted them, who apparently owns Tilly, so she's coming in now. I don't really know much information about her. The police are happy for her to pick her up, and if they're happy, then I'm happy. Got so many here for you. Hello, Abby. It's Abby. Yeah, Abby. I've been calling her Tilly. Hello, <laughs> oh, She's happy to see you. <laughs> it's been horrible. I've been so, so worried about her. Yeah, we're so happy to have her home. She's safe and well. She's, this is the first time I've seen her really just truly content. But just how Tilly ended up in the cross in that plastic handbag remains a mystery. Um, a friend had her for the morning and then some problems happened and they lost her. As for the person who was found with Tilly, police have decided not to press charges. Considering everything that Tilly's been through, it's really nice to know that she has an owner, an owner that loves her and she's going home with her. And, you know, sometimes, as Tilly knows, what happens in the cross, Stays in the cross. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.